It's his son of eight years old that was killed when he fell from the roof. He carried him to the house and he stayed with the little body practically a whole day. They weren't able to take him away from this kid. And I remember this because it was repeated to me over the years many, many times. And any, every time my father told the story of that incident, he broke into tears. And I remembered the date why it happened in 1913 is because we once went to the cemetery to look up my mother and father's graves in Chicago. And when we came there, we said, let's look for the grave of my brother that was killed. And sure enough, among overgrown weeds and everything, we knew the cemetery, and we had somebody point out this, the plot, and we saw the gravestone. It was marked, Isidore Denenberg died 1913. And the reason I remember how old I was, because I was born in 1910. So I may have been three or four years old. Maybe the fact that I remember this incident is because it was repeated to me, but I clearly think I remember the ambulance. At that time, they were drawn by horses. And that's the part that I remember. Mm -hmm. After that, I, I remember my brothers. At that time, they were going to a Jewish uh, uh, school to learn Hebrew. And my mother had taken them out of the synagogue, out of the school, because she felt that the rabbi somehow had put a curse upon this boy that was killed because he remarked to her how beautiful this little boy Isidore was. And she always felt that when that happened, it seemed to be the next day that this tragedy happened to her. After that, she lost contact with the religion, and we never went to Hebrew school after that. The other incident I can remember, and I hope I'm not boring you with these scenes is because they're vivid in my mind even today. Now, we had not a very happy childhood because my parents had come from Russia. They never had a chance to go to school. They never learned how to read or write. So in our household, there never was a paper, magazine, or book. And I had reached uh, eighth grade. And when I reached eighth grade, I finally graduated from uh, grammar school. I never went to high school. And that's been one of the regrets of my life, that I never was able to further my education. But through the years, I had ga gained the love of books. And somehow, I always loved books. And I started reading them when I was very young. And I was reading them as I remember all the time until I grew into where I started accumulating a large amount of my own books because every dollar I earned, somehow part of it was spent for books. And I, from now, let me take a rest and I'll continue a little later. Is there a certain book that gets you? Like yes. Yeah. The books that I remember that made an impression on me was a, 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 the name of the books was the Bob's Hill Boys. It was a group of books told about kids growing up and how they used to go camping and spending a lot of time outdoors mm -hmm. and all the incidents of their childhood. Somehow they stayed with me and from those books I started to go to other books like Robinson Crusoe and Gulliver's Travels, a lot of young type books. And from those books, I graduated to other type books, which were very helpful to me in my, in my growing up period. Mm -hmm. okay.
Okay. Did you have any? Did you have any pets when you were leaving your family? Yes, I, I, one of my brothers left.